Sweet. Recording in progress. Hello, folks. Please keep your arms and legs inside the vehicle at all times. At all times. <laughs> Welcome, folks. You are watching and listening to a very special edition of Sipping Off the Cuff here on Tequila Fish and Auto Media on all of our channels and networks. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We are on location again at the Champs Elysees. Champs Elysees, right? the Paris. As, as you can see in our window. Yes, you can see. You it's can a, see the. It's the city of the lights. night lights. Yes, it's the city of lights. I'm Mike Morales. When my lights are on, but nobody's home. <laughs> and this gentleman over here is. My name is Pedro. <laughs> my name is Jose Jimenez. <laughs> Nobody's might as gonna, well alex nobody's pettis gonna, nobody's gonna get that reference i'm sorry nobody nobody who's old enough to watch the the Ed well, show we have been having a good time yes we have um we just did our first rant oh god wait till you guys that was a load that. Up. that was a load off yeah yeah what well, well, i feel so much it's, i feel like after you know it's I, therapy i am i'm an i'm a uh I'm a fallen away Catholic. So it's like, it's like after you've gone to confession, you feel so well, okay. you know, you may have killed somebody, you know, you, you, you committed a mortal sin, but now you gave it, you gave it up to the priest. Well, that's what we did. We now the priest the has to, now the priest has to sleep on it. Yeah. That, well, you know, he does. Depending on who your priest is. Oh my God. Uh, let's not go there. Uh, but you're watching sipping off the cup. Right. Yeah. So let's go there. <laughs> And we have a very special... You're not watching murders in the building. No, yeah. <laughs> murders in the building. <laughs> the murder on Orient Express. But we're going to murder something really good here. Um, we have a brand new tequila that Alex and I have done the tastings on, on the entire line. But the funny thing was, this line did not have a Blanco. They they went backwards. They went backwards. No. Yeah, they, had, they actually had a Cristalino that when it came on the market, a lot of people... Mis mistook the Blanco, the Cristalino as a right, Blanco, right. but that's not the case. So we now have a Blanco. The brand now has a Blanco. Go ahead and show the brand. Go. Just Benta. 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 And we were exposed to this Blanco during our trip to uh, Casa Aceves, who is the, nice. the distillery, the home distillery of this brand. Uh, and if you haven't seen any of those interviews with the open bar and a lot of our, our uh, uh, press uh, tours that we did with uh, with uh, uh, Penta, and it, they were nice enough to invite us on on uh, on a nice three day trip to uh, their distillery and to parts of Mexico that we we haven't seen in a long time. And we wrote a lot of that in our yeah. uh, magazine, but the, that was to launch the Blanco, and so we finally got we finally got a sample of the Blanco, and we're going to do the tasting to complete the entire collection. You complete the pentagram. The pentagram. Oh. Wow, the pentagram. The shape. That's scary. Because you know what a pentagram is, right? Okay. Yeah, but not. Did you take the seal off of yeah, it? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. Well, yes, here, you, you do the God, you, got, you have my God. We're going to, as usual, we're going to pour the juice first. Then we're going to taste it. And then we'll give you all the ins and outs so that you, you know, you know the history and the background, the gnome. Oh, wow. Did you hear that? A little pop. Did you guys get that? Look at that. Bubbles. I think you got my glasses over there. Oh yeah, I do. Huh? Don't I? No, I don't. Oh yeah, yeah I do. Right there, next to the uh, agave. Here, right here, you hang on to that one. Thank you. That's yours. This is this. I'll take this one. See? Thank you. Because it's got very less uh, fingerprints. <laughs> and I got some. Shampoo on, I got some on, on me, so you know, I, nice. I just shaved a little bit earlier today, so. Um, it does have a, a the same uh, bottle. Uh, uh, so, uh, the the same bottle look and feel. yeah the same shape and feel same shape it's uh, fourteen ninety nine is a gnome casa Aceves. uh although I think it's called uh, something else a uh, uh, distilleria something uh, I call it casa Aceves, but it's um it. distilleria de arandas it does not say yeah I think it's distilleria de, yeah. de arandas but they look they, they are Instagram. yeah they've casa got some Aceves. they've got some great brands coming out of there oh and they're and wonderful that, people. Yeah, the the that that trifecta of the three brothers are are pretty awesome. Yeah. They're they're scientists. Yeah. They know what they're doing. Uh if you've seen any of our reviews, especially particularly the one about their Cristalino, it is the only Cristalino that has uh been produced uh with a patent pending um process. 
so so as soon as that goes live, as soon as that's approved, we'll we'll know for sure. Right. Well, but, we did we did a whole interview with um, with Steve Reynolds, who was behind Benta, and he 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 really laid it out for us in yes. regards to how the, this process is is uh, performed. But um, I mean, we we were boots on the ground. We got the actually a chance to see it and see the the mechanism of how they do it. So it was it was a it was an eye opener for me. Well, yeah, because it was. Uh, if you haven't seen any of those reviews, or you haven't seen the, the open bar, go check it back out. You can find it on our uh, in, on our website, on our brand new website. You can also find it on our our, our YouTube yeah. channel. Uh, check out the reviews that we did. It was a two part uh, open bar with uh, with uh, Steve Reynolds. Also, it was a, a nice interview that we did uh, with, uh, with Pepe, or with Jose. Pepe yeah. and Jose, uh, partially in English and Spanish. And all those are available on the YouTube channel, but it'll give you a really good idea of how they approach tequila making. And lo Alex took lots of photos, and we, you know, we have a lot of those on our Instagram as well. So go check it out. Go see it. Uh, but if you have not had the Blanco yet, it is available now, uh, particularly the state of Texas, also in California. Uh, big shout out to Joe Pat Clayton, who made this happen. Yeah, Joe Pat. Joe Pat. Uh, you, if you ever know who Joe Pat is, you want to follow him because he knows every taco <laughs> place in tequila, every little hole in the wall. He'll find it for you. <laughs> so anyway, we poured these in these handy dandy Glen Cairns that are branded by somebody else. I don't know who they are, but who cares? Um, right off the bat, just just beautiful agave notes on it. Yeah, oh, my it's, gosh. It's, it's I've got great lighting here. It's like a, it's a bright platinum. Yeah, the lighting, the lighting here is it's really bright, good. Bright Unlike my place, where you know my lighting sucks. And we've got some beautiful legs and tears, a beautiful viscosity. <sighs> I know. It smells uh, so it good. Just, the... It takes me back to that tasting room where we were able to taste all that. Oh with that, with that yeah, group, they they with did the a distillery. Whole... The whole uh, uh, lineup uh, that was put on by by Pepe and and uh, Alvaro uh, for for those of us who were guests of Penta and of course Steve. And it was just an amazing three days. It was just so much fun. Um, lots yeah. of storytelling in the back of that luxury bus. Let yeah, me tell you. thank you, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> But we uh, are you, bro. <laughs> but it, it's uh, no nice experience, and and when we do this stuff, it's we really get a chance to to get to know the people. Like I said earlier, we're boots on the ground. We we really we went through every inch of that distillery. Um, they hid nothing. You and, know, they answered and, all our questions and then some. And just to just to see what you know, it, everything from from the way they're distilling and filtering the Cristalino to their barrel management program and yes. the way they're, the way they're, um, um, you know, toasting their barrels. And it's just, it was just a, a nice, op you know, uh, eye opener for us. Um, and the fact that their distillery is very versatile, they've got autoclaves and they got Ornos. So, um, and those are, those are new additions too. Cause it was, a apparently when they first started, it was a much smaller distillery and now it, they, they've really gotten to the point where they're, they're small, but mighty. Yes. And and a lot of nice brands come out of there. Uh, El Cristiano is another one that comes out of there. Uh, a few other ones that, that we know of. And the quality is just outstanding. So um, right now on the nose, legs and tears are beautiful. Um, very just, just baked agave, really just nicely. It's it, really bright for yes. me on, on the nose. And I, I think they're using I think they're using the autoclaves. Yeah, they think they're using autoclaves yeah. on this. Some lime lime zest for me on the nose. I think on one side I was getting a little bit of the uh, uh, of just a slight hint of anise, not a not a lot, Ooh, okay. just enough. Beautiful. It's it's very subtle, very light. You know, it's not. Um, I think it'll be very mixable. Yeah, it's not like aromatic, so to speak. But you, you know, you get what you're supposed to get, which is your your agave, your roasted agave. Your lime, your pepper. I get the white pepper. Yeah, there's definitely a little bit of the anise, just just, just a touch. Oh yeah, at the bottom. It's at the bottom. It's at the bottom. I just got it. And as it starts to open up, that's the other thing too. It's, these are it's light, but it's complex. And, and I just opened this too. 
Yeah. Yeah, he just broke the seal off of it. You saw that. You really got to aerate a little bit. And we use Glen Cairns or we use the Jarritos, which are both made by Stotzel. And they're they're ideal for for the brands that have this kind of quality. It's just amazing stuff. And you use these exclusively now at, at El I, Capo, right? Yeah, I love using these. Um, they're very versatile. I use them for all for every spirit. I use them for rum. I use them for whiskey. I use them for tequila. Oh, they're great. For I, even, I even use them for mezcal. I mean, I love you the know, veladoras, but the mes- there's, there's something about this glass, the bowl and and the chimney on this glass that just it gives you a different experience. See, with with mezcals, anything over eighty proof, I really do enjoy using the the jarrito because it's a much wider mouth surface for me, and 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 I en- I enjoy that. I I think. And Glen Cairn actually makes a, a a Canadian whiskey blending glass, which is a much wider. Oh, I like mouth. that one. And that's you only need a splash of mezcal. I like that one too. Yeah, and that's just beautiful because it just brings it right up, and you can get all of the notes on it without getting it all over your shirt. Like, well, I I actually just I purchased and I tried some ISO glasses, which are they're short, they're like short wine glasses, like copitas. Oh, okay. And I still get a lot out of this yeah so well let's dive in let's start, let's do it mm. oh wow <clears throat> wow what a great finish on that you know what's interesting is that the nose the nose on it is it is subtle, mm. but it is complex. Mm. But you don't think it's going to go down as bold as it does. This has got a long, yeah, it's long got some finish. some really good structure some to it. Great pepper on that. The was it black pepper or white? I think it's black pepper for me. You think black pepper? I thought it was white pepper at first, but I, I think because on the back end of your palate, it gets really it's peppery dry. and dry. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Dry. Hmm. That's a that's a medium to long finish. I did was not expecting that. <clears throat> yeah, I'm still getting the lime notes. Now, granted, we did have this in Mexico, but it's been a few. It's been months. It's been a few months, yeah. And we did not dissect it. It was just you know when you roll out a launch like this, you're enjoying it. You're just you're just sipping it. You know, you're getting some of the notes on top, and not, but we're not doing the, the sipping off the cuff kind of dissection. And we weren't even using Glen Cairns. They were using uh, Riedel glasses or knockoff Riedels. And um, so it was a whole different mm, – Riedels have, have gotten to the point now where they, I think, you know, the quality of tequila has outpaced the Riedel at this point. And True. Uh, Riedel needs to start looking at, at redesigning the tequila glass for other tawars. Um and other other agave spirits, in my opinion, but you know, I, I agree with you. I uh, agree with you. But how do you tell a two hundred year old company they need to do some research in R and R? You don't. But Stossel really has beautiful done the done the job. Well, I didn't bring my paddle, but but do you? This is definitely a brand of brand promise. promise nominee in the Blanco category. This is just it is it is beautiful. It's everything. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. Now, I think it is very cocktail worthy. What do you think? Yes, it, this this is a blanco of caliber. Um, definitely cocktail worthy. Um, this is this is a high end uh, for a high end cocktail. I would say so, and and you know what's interesting? I, I just it, it, the thought occurred to me. I wonder if they're thinking about doing a high proof because everybody's coming up with a high proof, and and I'm wondering what this would taste like at like fifty Ooh. proof, or or well we or, had it we had it we had it from the still we had it from the still but I mean you know still strength is one thing yeah that's and, too and, much and that's almost too over the top right but I, I'm wondering what it would be like and where they would and where they would stop it. <laughs> I mean, you know, where did the stuff 92? that the stuff that we had was what one twenty, one thirty? Yeah, from I mean, the still, still strength. That's that was just too much. We too couldn't much. It just burn your tongue off. 
Why? Bring Why? your bring your eyebrows off. Oh, jeez. But your nose um, but it would be interesting for them to do, in my opinion, either a high proof, or do a hove in. They've got the barrel management for do it. Do a hove in. They can do a hove in with a do, they, do, they have a lot of do, wine do, barrels. Do, there. do um, you know, eighty percent, eighty percent blanco, ten percent repo, ten percent añejo. Now you're killing me. You know, there's let's, your recipe. Let's do, let's ladies do and gentlemen, aficionado. Hoven barrel. There you go. Hoven expression. What do you think, Pepe? What do you think? No, Pepe, Steve. <laughs> oh, Steve. Well, Steve, talk yeah, to well, me. Steve, Joe Pat. But, but Pepe is uh, in this, well, in this distillery. I mean, yeah, but it would. I'm talking know. about the master distiller. Well, yeah. But yeah, Steve, yes. Steve is also the master, um, which we haven't we haven't mentioned him too much. But Steve, Steve's the mastermind behind this, bringing, mm-hmm. bringing wine making techniques uh, and science to, um, to, to tequila. tequila. That, that was the whole point. And, and that was, and he said that in our interview, in our open bar, that, that, that he knows that it's, it's kind of a touchy subject when you have a guy from Napa coming into Mexico trying to tell people how to make tequila using techniques that they've been using in the <laughs> wine industry for yeah. a long time. But luckily, thankfully, you know, the, the Aceves brothers and Casa Aceves have been open-minded enough to, to experiment, to try stuff that's new. And I think you're right. I think they have, they have the barrels. They have a lot of wine barrels from, because from, uh, if you don't know anything about uh, Steve Reynolds, they also are Reynolds Family Winery. Right. So if you have any, any of their wines, you understand that they, you know, they, they've got some great barrel management. They, so they have those barrels that go down to Mexico, and that's what the age there, you know, their uh, their aged versions, um, and almost exclusively in wine barrels. I think you're right, Alex. I think a Hoven would really just, if they don't do the high proof, a Hoven would be right. Would be the th- be different. Make a Hoven. Yeah, you know, that, that's, have that's, us come down. You've got three or four pallets that, you know, can really help you there. <laughs> Joe Pat, Joe Pat's a, a sommelier. I mean, the guy is, you know, he, he's their Texas rep and and pretty much, well, he's their national. He's, na- he's, national, he's nationwide. Yeah, he's nationwide. But uh, he's no slouch either. Joe. And I would love, I would love to be the fly on the wall for that. That would be just. Make it happen. Can, can you make it happen? We can make it happen. We have to talk to we have we to do talk it. to Joe Pat. We can do it. We have the technology. We we have the yeah we, <laughs> we have the technology. We can rebuild them. <laughs> we can rebuild. Them. <laughs> anyway, yes, yes, good stuff. I, you know, I I'm in love with the Penta line. Show the, show the and it's right not there. it's not just because we went to the distillery. No, because we're great. not we're not influencers. When they invite us, we go, and it's to it's to really experience. And if it's a good experience, we're going to talk about it. If it's a bad experience, we're also going to talk about it. I was very, very impressed with, with this distillery, with the Aceves family, with Steve Reynolds and his crew, uh, with Joe Pat. I was just, I was very, very impressed. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of smart people involved yeah. in this. And of course, Penta, there are five owners with Penta. There, there are five vintners. Right. That's why you, that's why it's Penta, Pentagram. Yeah. It's show, right? show the cap. I mean, there's, a, you've there's got... even a story behind the, uh, the logo. You know, if you look at it that way, it looks like it's barrels stacked on top of each other. If you flip it over, but it's flip it over, it's it's a it's a looks like wine. It no. looks like wine grapes. It's a grape, a cluster of grapes. Yeah, it's a cluster of grapes, and they are five different owners. So they the, everything. Check out their website. Every detail has been has been checked off. It's a superb brand. You can't go wrong. With, I don't even know what the price point is on this thing. I I, I don't know. I, I'd, I'd, I'd have to, have to check. look it up. But um, it has, you know, whatever it is, it's got to be in the 50s. And, and I'm sure it's fine. It's just, you know, but I like the fact that it's versatile. That it, they didn't stand on ceremony and they, in the, you know, made it too over the top. That it is, they, these guys understand that, you know, 80% of the, of the tequila yeah. that goes into the U.S. Is, is, goes into cocktail. So let's make something that's cocktail worthy. But you could stand on its own if you want to sip it out of a Glen Cairn. Right. I mean, it's, it's, um, I mean, obviously we're into sipping. Right. Um, we love to sip a, a great tequila. This is, this is up there. This is a great, this is a great Blanco, mm-hmm. which, which is just so welcoming and enjoyable. So 
I'll, I'll sip the sip on this all day long. Um, but obviously, if you're going to make a cocktail, for example, if I'm going to make a cocktail at the restaurant, um, it's you're going to pay for it. <laughs> This is a good brand. Yeah. And this is going to be a premium cocktail, whether it be a Paloma, whether it be a, a margarita, a Tommy's margarita, or or one of the stuff that we're putting together. Um, it's it's going to be it's well, going to be I up got, there. I got a sneak peek of that menu. My cocktail menu that's coming <laughs> up for down the pike for El Cholo. Wait till you folks, for those of you in Southern California, wait till you get to the Pasadena location with that with that that cocktail menu. It awesome. is. It is going to blow the doors off. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I just looked it up. Penta Blanco at Sip Tequila. They say they're out of stock. <laughs> they're sold out. But they're pricing it at. They're pricing it at sixty six bucks. And you know what? That's bucks. that's pretty good. That's a great price for for Blanco Tequila. I'm telling you. Well, this is again. This is a a uh upper echelon yes um uh, tequila it's not it's not um your usual yeah it, you know it's not designed to be old town tequila which is kind of a, a everybody benchmark pricing yeah 64.99 so that's it's right or it's right within that range mm -hmm. and yeah, again that's that's, like, that's if you can find it worth worth every penny yeah so you know everybody's looking for for um, or everybody's trying to find, for example, Fortaleza, and they're willing to pay who knows how much for it. Get yourself some penta. And it comes. You know? It's great packaging too. I don't know if you folks have seen the packaging. It comes if you can get it in the full box version. Yeah. That's a that's a yeah. stellar packaging. Uh, but the bottle itself is stunning. And it's great. Everything they've done with it. I mean, congratulations to Steve and. And the the crew yes. at the Casa Cebes, it is spectacular. And if you folks have had it, um, tell us what you're doing with it. You know, leave us a comment, give us a like, you know, give us a thumbs up on on uh, on our YouTube channel. Uh, what are you doing with it? Leave us a comment. This is a stellar blanco, outstanding. Penta, congratulations! Beautiful. That's beautiful. A, that you know, and it's like come up with a Hoven or a, or a, or a still strength or a still strength. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll be. Ready. I, I I don't mind that you do if you do both. Yeah, <laughs> as long as you can, can we collab with that. Yeah, yeah just you know. yeah. Oh yeah, but definitely, I think, in my opinion, the Hoven. I think so too. The Hoven. Everybody's making a a high proof. You know, Everybody's maybe maybe make high meal. maybe make high proof for your select friends from the distillery, but. The Hoven, I think, is the way to go. Because there aren't that many. I think you're right. There aren't that many. And because of the quality that Penta has, starting with the Blanco and the beautiful Repo and the Añejo. And the extra Añejo. Or yeah. maybe put maybe you want to put a little 5% extra Añejo in there. They, they have, like I say, they age a lot of it would be almost good. exclusively in the wine barrels from the Reynolds family winery. So this would be a very unusual Hoven that you don't see very often. Right. You know, because most of the time they're aged in, in bourbon or whiskey barrels. But in a and they're, and they're using the a, and they've been they've been playing around with wood too. They're using um Oh the acacia the acacia, the acacia are they using wood. acacia wood now? I think so. I wow. think that has to do with the wine or the type of barrels where they're they're the, the staves are like three different Right. Three they're making their woods. barrels with different woods, yeah. It's crazy, folks, That's what they're awesome. doing with barrel management. And, and you thought wine was boring. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, awesome. Uh, they're making tequila way more exciting, and I yeah. think I, I think down the pike, I would like. You know, the thing with a Hoven too is that you have to take several samples, and and start doing your blending while you're there. Right. And and that would be really cool to be involved in to see that happen that process because how do you decide? You know, you narrow it down. Maybe you've got 10 samples. You narrow it down to five. And then you narrow it down to just one or maybe two. And then you go, okay, let's have a let's have a dance off. Right. 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 You know, and that would be really cool to be involved in because it would take more, more palettes to to right. narrow things down right. to something that is going to work on the on the on the open market. 
So and probably doing it blind too. Of course, you don't no. know. You don't know what you know. You know it's barrel one or barrel two, and you don't know what it, exactly the percentages and the percentages and it it must be. It's got to be mind boggling. That's got to be cool. That's why I think I think this is up Pence's alley. Yeah, because uh, just a uh, barrel barrel strength is easy. Boom comes out of the still, and you you water it down. You water it down to or... where you, where you want it, yeah. and that's it. You're done. Yeah. But a hoven. That takes work. That takes an artist. Yeah. And Steve, the Seves uh, team, you are artists. So I, I think I think this would be a. Are you up for the task? Is my question. Yeah. Are you? Are you <laughs> if it what? How's it? How's it going? The Mission Impossible. If if it's a. Uh, if this is a, a mission. You <laughs> if you decide to you know to to accept to accept <laughs> this tape will self destruct in five and seconds. You will be disavowed. <laughs> yeah, if you fail, you'll be disavowed. We will disavow all knowledge of your existence. Anyway, so this is our challenge. This is a tequila aficionado challenge. Go, to, let's to yeah. Steve Reynolds and his and his crew and the Aceves family. But I want to be involved. I, I don't. I don't want to be. I don't want to be on the outskirts. I want to be involved. Yes. Because because just, you know, can you? If this, we don't, this, if we this don't is record, artistry, if and if they're very capable this, of this. Yes. Yeah. And it's historic too, because yeah. again, to my knowledge, I don't know of any hoven that's been using wine barrels. I don't. I, I mean, I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, you're right. Leave you're me right. Comment. You're right. I think tell you might me, be right. Don't you know? If you guys know, leave me a comment. Tell me what brand that is. So we can we can pursue it, mm. but this but, could be a first for you guys. Yeah, but uh, again, it's not. I don't. I have not seen one that because I I would have known. I, I it would have you know because Hovens sure. are few and far between yeah. at this point. That I yes. think I think it would have found out. I would have known. Yeah. So if if I if I'm wrong, leave me a comment. Yes. If I'm right, leave me a comment. Either our way, our fee is only a few bottles each of the Hoven once they completed. Maybe, maybe a, you know. <laughs> maybe a flight or ticket or something because <laughs> we have no budget we barely have a budget for these microphones <laughs> these microphones are about to take them don't, don't take them yet wait, no. wait, 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 wait. they're being repoed <laughs> the mics are being repoed <laughs> anyway folks that we've had way too much fun but that's our take on Penta Blanco please please go get it if you can find it because now it's out of stock right so they're gonna make some more, but we have you have a full bottle. I have like two thirds of a this bottle. This is full. mine, my precious. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> but anyway, it, it, yeah, their their entire the line, column, their, exactly their the entire column. their entire line is amazing. The, it, the whole line is like I said earlier. Stellar. I'm impressed. Yes, and it's I'm worth impressed. every penny, folks. Yeah. Don't be put off by the. It's not all packaging and marketing. Yeah. There's barely a little. I mean. They they advertise with us, which is smart marketing, as far as I'm concerned, with with Tequila Aficionado magazine, um, yeah. and but it is it is a it's worthy it's worthy it's yeah. really brand worthy it's a beautiful blanco, uh, I'm sure it's going to score very highly in our our year end brands of promise. So follow us on on uh, you know uh, here on YouTube on Instagram on our website, uh, give us a like, share the you know share the the share the, the the review and give it to other other people that might want to you know know about this brand because when it goes back in stock you better get it soon because it's going to go out of stock again <laughs> that's how fast this is going to well, go sip is uh florida right what's that yeah sip I tequila's so. in florida but so if, they, if they're out of stock <laughs> you're, yeah, they should. everybody's out of stock you're you're sol so awesome. um but anyway folks that's our take thanks for watching thanks for listening i'm mike morales here in Sunny Southern California. Alex Perez also in Southern. We're in the same room. Yeah, we are. <laughs> We're not in the zip, <laughs> zip, you, zip codes. You've been watching, <laughs> sipping off the cuff. Thanks for watching. And as always, Tomar sabiamente. Sip wisely. That was good. I know. Good stuff. Uh, can you pour me some more? Yeah, please. please, sir. Can I have some more? Can I have some more? <laughs> can I have some more? Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Oh, is this Bridgerton? I don't know what this is. Upstairs, no, down. Is, is this upstairs, downstairs? <laughs> We're way downstairs. We're in the, what's that? We're in the basement. We're in the, <laughs> we're in, we're storage. We're in storage. the underbelly. Yeah, we're.